Hello, I'm Dave Larson, amateur radio operator KK4WW. We're located here in the Floyd Community Amateur Radio Station, M4USA, also used by the Floyd Amateur Radio Society, W4FCV. If you like antenna tuners that are built to take a lot of power, you'll like this Dentron 3000 MT. This tuner is quite old. A Dentron made amplifiers and tuners many years ago, and I'll look up and see how old it is, put it on the video for you. But it's really built, it's quite heavy, heavily built, and made to be a very rugged tuner. So let's take a look at the front panel controls. We'll take a look at the back, and then we'll look inside and see how heavy duty this is built. Well, let's take a look at this uh, Dentron MT3000AL, the front panel controls. Like I said, this is a heavy duty antenna tuner made many years ago. Dentron's been out of business for many, many years. So let's go up here and take a look at what we have. First of all, the metering. Yeah, we have a meter for forward reading power and reverse reading power. And we have two switches here, one to calibrate those meters for 200 watts or 2 kilowatts. Here's the function switch to select which antenna and coax and so forth. Basically down here we can connect coax 1 direct to an antenna. We can connect to an internal dummy load. There are three coax connections which can connect antennas and we can connect the tuner to coax 1, 2, or 3. Then we can connect to a long wire. There's a ballon built in so we can connect directly to a long wire, not directly, but through the tuner, using the tuner. And here's to the balanced line using an internal toroid or matching a transformer for a balanced line. Whereas we have the standard um, transmitter matching capacitor and over here to the right the antenna matching capacitor. Now very, the inductor has many taps. It's a tapped inductor from A through R so we can select the inductance this way. So pretty straightforward, standard tuning for a T-type antenna tuner. So let's sneak around and back and take a look and see what we've got back here. Okay, around and back, here are the connections for those three coaxes. You can tie three antennas to this through coax one, two, and three. This ties to your, to your transmitter. This would tie to your long wire. Here's the two connections for a balanced line, and here's your ground connection down here. Straightforward, just the connections you need, no other frills. Well, let's take a look inside at the components of this Dentron 3 kilowatt antenna tuner. And they're pretty standard. This is a standard T tuner. I've got a video here that tells how T tuners work. Here's the transmitter capacitor. Remember the T-Tuner has two capacitors, an inductor, here's a second capacitor, nice big heavy capacitors with good plate spacing, and a calibrated front panel knob. Looks like these coils are pretty heavy duty and this down here is, is uh, really nice and heavy. One thing I like about this unit, if you look at the switch in here, You see that little switch wiper there? That's a nice heavy duty connection. Heavier than a lot of your newer tuners for sure. This is on the inductor switch. And going back here you have the same kind of switch on the, uh, same kind of connection on the switch that selects between the various inputs and antennas and the dummy load. Here are the two resistors that make up the dummy load. There are two of them. This little board over here has a circuitry on it for picking up forward and reverse power. It's a little hard to see what's in this thing, how big it is, but it looks big out here. This is the toroid for working with a balanced line to convert a single line to a balanced line. And I see a date here. I expect that this says 1979, 31st week, if this is standard date coding. So this unit was made in 79 or later is my guess. I'm going to give you a little history 
about the Dentron company. It went out of business and went through several iterations. And I believe the uh, final result is uh, Ameritron, which is still currently sold. I believe it originally uh, came through the Dentron origination. We'll put a little history here in the text below the video. So what else we got here? Well, here's the switches for selecting between the 200 watts and the 2 kilowatts. And this is simply the backside of the two meters over here. Well, this is a very standard kind of T tuner. Here's your RF input, standard coax connector. A little ferrite, this whole circuitry right in here is the SWR circuitry. This is, has a forward reading circuit and a reverse reading circuit. So you can read forward current, reverse current. And there's a switch on here for 200 watts or 2000 watts. Here's the input capacitor, output capacitor, switching inductor. So this is a standard T-tuner. Here's a switching, very heavy duty switching. Here's the dummy load. Nice heavy duty dummy load in there as well. The output capacitor. And here's the switch to switch the output to the various coaxes, three coax connectors, a long wire, balance line, here's a ground connection. Here's the internal ballon to uh, make this a balanced line feed as well as a single line feed. Of course down here is a section of the switch that switches the inductor. This is the Dentron MT3000A. I found a date on this, 1979. So it's a very heavy duty uh, tuner with heavy coils, heavy switching, nice monitoring circuitry, and also nice switching circuitry, giving us three coax connections here on the back. I would say this is a really um, nice tuner. It's rather large, but it's a nice uh, full power amateur radio tuner.